So this is from a quick flight I took uh, yesterday, uh, March 6th, Friday, uh, coming up over the Warden's, Warden's Village at the long-abandoned Tennessee State Prison. Uh, the Warden's Village and the houses in it are weirdly still actively maintained. Uh, I don't know if they've actually got people living here um, or are using it for offices, but it uh, is right out of a 1950s prison movie. Um, took a little damage here on the roof of the Warden's house, but uh, it doesn't look like anything too serious. Uh, we're coming up on the the main prison here. Um, all these uh, trucks here are uh, apparently involved in some cleanup in some neighboring buildings. This is the uh, main administrative building here, the one that looks like uh, Cinderella's castle. It's an amazing, amazing piece of, of architecture, and I'm, I'm sorry to see it in this uh, condition. But here, here's where most of the damage to the main prison took place. Basically, the outer wall on the front of the building blew out. Uh, exposing the cell blocks uh, inside. <clears throat> I'm not sure what the function of this building is. It's uh, part of the uh, prison complex, as is this warehouse, which apparently was in active use in some capacity for the state. Uh, that's uh, what they've got all these uh, trucks pulled up picking through. Those three smokestacks in the background belong to the uh, Carlex glass plant, formerly the Ford glass plant. Uh, their site seems to have been almost untouched, uh, which is just another testament to how localized the effects of tornadoes are. Uh, where I work, uh, which is just on the other side of the hill, uh, everything basically was demolished. That uh, green structure you see uh, in front of the exposed cells, incidentally, that is uh, one of the metal catwalks that the guards would walk along. Uh, and the whole thing apparently came out in, in one piece. You'll see uh, some similar structures are still intact uh, on this section of the wing, uh, sort of uh, dangling precariously there in front of uh, the cells. kind of surprising the roof is still mainly on with uh, the uh, wall having been pulled apart like that. Um, you may notice uh, along the walls most of the uh, guard towers are gone. Uh, this set of buildings towards the rear of the prison uh, were forced labor factories in, in various capacities. Uh, uh, long ago I explored a couple of them. Um, that's the rear of the uh, administrative building again. This building over here with the smokestack that uh, we're approaching, uh, that was a coal-fired power plant for the prison, uh, staffed by uh, uh, prisoners. The wall uh, is uh, famous for never having had anyone make it across alive. Uh, I have been on top of it, and it, it's not hard to see why. I mean, it's 25 feet high, three, uh, three feet of solid masonry. Uh, with barbed wire across the top and 
the now absent gun towers um, at regular intervals. I don't. I have no idea what this building is. It looks like it may have been a pool um, or a gym of some kind. Uh, I don't think I ever got into that one back when uh, I was exploring the site on foot. Now this wall I'll be telling you about that no one ever made it through alive. Storm took it down on uh, the front of the prison. Some more prison workshops. Uh, the oldest of the bunch. And they're basically waiting for something to uh, push them over and uh, just managed to luck out this time. Uh, come in and get a, a better look at the administrative building here. I mean, it really is a Cinderella's Castle of Human Misery. Uh, it's just an amazing piece of uh, pseudo-medieval Romanesque architecture. It's 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 really an amazing building. I I apologize for this being the most boring uh, and disjointed voiceover ever, but I I don't. I, this is my first voiceover. Um, I was having a lot of trouble flying the drone uh, when I was out here. Uh, the drone has a top speed of 20 miles per hour, and the wind was steadily blowing at 20 miles per hour, especially higher up like this. Uh, made it impossible to go back across the, uh, the uh, prison yard at this point. In fact, I, th I think at this point I was actually moving backwards uh, because of the wind, which was really frustrating because I wanted to uh, go by over the um, uh, Ford glass plant, but that'll have to wait for another time. About a dozen years ago, I, I came, I, I got into the prison complex. It, it was you know, largely abandoned at the time. There was uh, nobody there to uh, keep people out and was able to get into all of the buildings. Uh, either, you know, the doors were unlocked in the case of the uh, the main, main prison. Uh, looks like we're coming uh, uh, back from the other side now. Um, you can get into the, the cell blocks, the uh, uh, prison power plant was fascinating. I mean, all the machinery is still in there, and the uh, forced labor factories are uh, interesting to see. Nowadays, they actually do have someone uh, at the uh, main entrance to uh, keep unauthorized tourists out. Um, the state seems to use parts of it for storage. Uh, the city was for a while uh, using it as the dumping ground for uh, all of the chippers that went around from uh, yard to lar yard to yard collecting yard trash. Yeah, if you were sentenced here when it was in operation, you were in for as long as they wanted to keep you. Um, that's the Cumberland River off to uh, the right of the screen right now, or out of out of frame to the right. And that goes all the way around the back side, uh, back of the prison, and then there's Briley Parkway. Um, and in the uh, fourth direction, behind the direction we're looking now uh, is, you know, an industrial park. Uh, 
and I've always felt this, uh, you know, weird, uneasy attraction to the uh, the uh, facility because this was the locus of so much human suffering. But uh, it it's it's uh, really interesting, and the architecture is is fabulous, and uh, it's really quite a pleasant place to wander around now that they're not keeping human beings in cages here anymore. Yeah, this 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 tower is purely decorative. Um, you see, you know, it, it's all solid brick. Uh, and, you know, these the the front and the side wall of the building all of the masonry is just dissolved it's like sand. And if those the cell block seems familiar that you have seen it in movies. <laughs> 